Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an updated manga collection because what other way to start the new year than to do a updated manga collection? I have over 800 volumes. I have some of them here, majority of them here, and then I have a couple back in my dorm. So at the end of the video, I'll be having a little picture and telling you guys about those volumes there, but let's just get into it. Okay, so starting off with shelf number one. This shelf doesn't really change much because it does have like some more completed series on it, so I don't really like to move them around. Starting off though, I have Initial D. I have a really random assortment of volumes. I want to collect all of them though. There are 33 out of these singles. I'm so excited for the Omnibuses to get released in April. This is my favorite series of all time, my number one. So of course I have like a little section dedicated to it. I have some canned badges, some acrylic stands, and then this really cool diorama, which I think is really nice. Then I have almost a complete set of GTO. I'm missing three or four volumes. This is a really fun series about like a delinquent teacher. And I have more initial D stuff here as well because as it has been established, I simply adore the series so much. Next up is my Togashi shelf. I have Hunter x Hunter. Once again, another random assortment of volumes. I'm trying to get collected or like up to date with them. So I also have like a lot of merchandise and some acrylic stands and minifigures. Meruem is my favorite character, so I'm so happy that I have this little minifigure of him. Next to Hunter x Hunter, I have Yeehawk Show 1 through 19 complete. Another series I simply adore. This is such a nostalgic series for me. Uh, above it, I have some more like merchandise and whatnot. And from this series, Jin is actually my favorite character. So I have two acrylic stands of him here, which I'm really happy about. And then this one, which is a from a seller on Etsy. I'm forgetting their name. If you search up Yeehawk Show keychain, it should come up. Moving down onto, I guess, what is can be considered a colorful spine shelf? Question mark. I have volumes 1 through 26 and the spin-off of Dr. Stone, so it is complete. Love the series, such a great kind of science fiction series. I highly recommend it if you love that science fiction Stone Age element. It's really fun, and the anime is also very enjoyable. I have the Senku Nendroid and the Sitsugasa acrylic stand next to the manga, and on top I have some more merchandise as well. Even like a little plushie of Kohaku, which is so adorable. Next to the series though, I also have some random volumes of Pissarra, another great series. I love this one. This is a really great uh, fantasy romance series from the 90s. It's a very out of print series, so I'm happy with what I do have. Hopefully I can get more of the volumes in the future. And then I have some more Dr. Stone acrylics down in the corner. This next shelf is yet again another dark spine, but it's like colorful this time. I have Chainsaw Man volumes 1 to 13. I don't think this series really needs much of an explanation. Really great series. I'm up to date with it and I'm really enjoying it so far. Then I have Mal volumes 1 to 13. I'm missing 14 so it is not up to date but this is really fun. I don't know how to explain it. I've always talked about it. It's like a supernatural series. It's done by the same creator Rumiko Takahashi that did uh, Inuyasha or Run the One Half. So if you like those series you will probably like this series as well. Then I also have Hell's Paradise Volumes 1 to 13 on this shelf. Simply adore the series. The anime is also great. So if you really want like a historical kind of samurai series, supernatural, this is a really good one. I highly recommend. I also have number six volume one and Bakano volume one. As for merchandise, I have this really cute little Pochita acrylic stand, two Kaiju number eight acrylic stands, and then I also have two Hell's Paradise acrylic stands. Now for the last shelf on this bookcase, which is like dark spines that are specifically like black, white, and red. It's very specific, but that's what this shelf is. Starting off, I have JJK volumes 0 through 20, so this is almost up to date. I just don't have 21, so it's not technically up to date. I also have the Japanese uh, fan book, guidebook, TV book thing. And then I totally forgot this was here. I have this like little coaster of uh, Gigi and Mahito that I got from Kinokuniya a while ago. Cute. Then I have Requiem of the Rose King Volumes 1 to 17 complete. I love this series so much, guys. This is a great historical, political type of a series. Highly recommended if that sounds interesting to you. It takes place during the War of Roses. So this is a really fun series. I simply adore this series. And it deals with some very unique, uh, my god, my cat, uh, LGBTQ topics because the main character, Richard, is intersex. So it's like a really fun series. Well, it's not really fun. It's a darker series, but it deals with some really serious topics that I don't really see is covered in a lot of other manga or media, so I really enjoyed the series overall. Random side note, but I just have an extra volume of JJK here, zero, so it just sits there. Then I had Game Between the Suits Volume 1, Remarried Empress Volume 1, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2, Volumes 1 to 4 complete because this is my favorite JoJo part, uh, and then I have Soul Leveling Volume 1. 
Before moving on to the other bookcases, I'm just going to cover what's in here. In my D12, I just have four random volumes of manga. I have volumes 1 to 3 of Hatsuharu and Bungo Stray Dogs volume 1 in there. Just right there underneath this figure. Right there. This next shelf is my Haikyuu shelf. This is just Haikyuu volumes 1 to 45 complete. I have three volumes of volume 19, two in English and then one in Japanese because this is like the hardest volume for me to get like for ages. But yeah, I have it, three of it now, so that's fun. Um, I have the smaller art book, I think it's from 2018, I want to say is when that came out. And then as for merchandise, there's just a lot to unpack on this shelf. I have quite a few plushies here. I have a shikishi board, some acrylic stands, this acrylic stand, a keychain, another acrylic stand, some more acrylic stands. And then over here I have once again some more acrylic stands. This kid one is so cute. Forgot to say is, I don't really think the series needs much, much explaining, but it's just about volleyball. This next shelf is kind of colorful spines once again. Starting off, I have some random volumes of Food Wars. I basically almost have the full set. I'm just missing 11, which is quite a bit, so it's not really technically the full set or close to it. But yes, love the series. Great cooking series. Highly recommend if cooking sounds interesting to you. I have this really cute, like, little Ikumimito acrylic stand that I got from Tsurugaya recently, so I had those so cute. Put it here. She's, like, one of my favorite characters in the series. I also have Slam Dunk Volumes 1 to, what is this, 31 complete. Uh, this is a really fun series about basketball, another really nostalgic series for me, so I'm so happy that I was able to get the entire set completed in my collection. As for merchandise, besides the Mito acrylic stand, I also have this uh, Nender of Josuke, since he is one of my favorite JoJo main characters, aside from Joseph. An Erina Nakari acrylic keychain, a Tanjiro like, little minifigure. It's like random watermelon reman thing, and then this uh, plushie from that time I was reincarnated as a slime. Next up is my sports shelf. The most prominent series on this shelf is Hikaru no Go, since this is, I think it is my favorite sports anime, sports series of all time. I adore this series. It's about the board game Gomoku or Go, so I just, I, I have all of them. Volumes 1 to 23, it's complete. I'm so happy. I love it so much. I highly recommend the series if you guys are interested in a sports series with some supernatural elements and not to mention the art style is phenomenal. It's done by Takashi Obata who is the same creator of the art that did like Death Note or Platinum End or those series. So if you enjoy this, that art style then this is definitely another good series to check out. I also have a random assortment of iShow 21 which is about American football. This is another really nostalgic series for me so I'm really happy to have this. This is like a sports comedy series so it's really fun. And then I also have a few random volumes of Prince of Tennis, which is about tennis, as the title leads you to believe. There is quite a lot of merchandise on this shelf, and it is purely all Hikaru no Go stuff. I have two of the Hikaru no Go Nendroids. We have Hikaru and Sai. I'm missing the Akira one. That one just got released. I need to go buy it right now uh, so I can have the two of them playing, because Akira is Hikaru, who's like the main character, his rival. So really excited about that. We have some Ken badges. So many Ken badges. Like, look how cute this one is of Hikaru, he's so cute. I also have the matching side badge, and here's Akira, so cute. We have some mini acrylics, a mini figure of Sai, some more acrylics, the Sanrio X Hikaru no Go collab, and then we have some more Ken badges. This is my newest one, I got this one in the mail from Surugaya a few days ago. This next shelf, I guess, is just white spines with red accents. I have the first box set of Bleach, which is volumes 1 to 23, and I also have the special 20th edition that one of you guys gave to me. I have Fire Force Williams 1 to 5. I really like this series. I would like to continue collecting it. It's just I don't really have a lot of space, but for considering how long the series is, but I really do adore the series. This is one of my also favorite anime series I've been really enjoying. Uh, one of my favorite characters is Benny Maru and Joker. I have Benny Maru's scale around here. It's like on top of my D12. I mean, it's like little Joker acrylic, which is so cute. I hope they make a figure of him soon because I love him so much. Then I have the Boxer Volumes 1 and 2, which is like a really meaningful series to me. I really enjoy the series. I just need to pick up the rest of the volumes, but I'm really happy with what I have so far. I just hope I can get the other two that are out at the moment. Then I have Tokyo Ghoul Volumes 1 to 14 complete, and then I have some random volumes of Tokyo Ghoul Real. Looks like I have Volumes 1 to 5. So yeah, working on the series, really enjoying it. Love the series. It is better than the anime. Highly recommend the manga. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I don't really think this needs much explaining. Then I also have the first omnibus for the Tokyo Avengers series. As for merchandise, besides the Joker acrylic stand, I have some Tokyo Avenger acrylics. This uh, cookie uh, omanji bun. Oh my god, there's a figure back here of Mitsuya. I did not see. There we go. Uh, then I also have a Hayase Sasaki Tokyo Gori acrylic. A shikishi board from 
Kinokuniya that was exclusive. So if you bought this volume at Kinokuniya, they give you the Shiki Shippur for free. And my favorite characters in Tokyo Avengers are Mikey and Hanma. So I have some Hanma acrylics since he's so cute, bro. The last shelf on my second bookcase is a miscellaneous volumes shelf. I have Kaiji, The Gambly Apocalypse, Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, this is not up to date. There's like, I think they're up to 5 at this point. I'm not sure. But really good series. Highly recommended. I mainly got this series. Not because like this is particularly one of my favorite series. But mainly because the mangaka that did this did, did one of my other favorite series. And it's about gambling. Like how the series specifically like Mahjong. And Akagi. I loved Akagi. It's not translated into English though. So I had to settle with this series. So yeah. Okay, since there are just quite a lot of random volumes in here, I'm not going to be able to give a description of all of them, but I'll give the descriptions of the ones that matter. Wand Dance Volume 1, Windbreaker Volume 3, which is, I guess, the best way to describe it, like, Tokyo Adventures, but, like, more PG without all that angst and supernatural elements, at least so far for me. The Abandoned Empress Volume 1. My brain is different. I love this series. It's just like a one shot. Highly recommend. I don't see enough people having this in their collection. This is a really great uh, educational manga about ADHD and other devel developmental disorders, as it says on the cover. I just really like it because rather than having a character with the series with these types of developmental disorders, it actually follows real life stories of people. So it has a nice realistic touch, and I would like to see representations of this type of thing since there's not a lot of that in manga or in media in general. I have In the Clue Moon, the Dusk Volume 6. I have the other five volumes back in my dorm room manga shelf. This is a fantastic romance series with stunning art. I also have Though I'm an Inept Villainess. I'm not gonna say the full title because it's too long, but it's like an isekai series. Why Rayliana Ended Up at the Duke's Mansion, Volume 1. And then I also have March Comes in Like a Lion, Volume 1. And the volume on display is Kokinjo Monogatari Volume 1. I love this series, done by Ayazawa. I love this series, okay? What can I say? I got this cover because it I just liked how it looked. It made it seem more Happy Berry to me, so that's why I got it. Daughter of the Emperor Volume 1. Uh, the Savior's Book Cafe Story in Another World Volumes 1 to 5 Complete. Fangs Volume 1. Kaiju Number 8 Volume 9. I have the other 8 volumes back in my dorm. And then I have a random assortment of My Hero Academia Volumes, as well as the first two volumes of the spinoff. Moving on to the third shelf. Starting off, I have Boy of the Female Wolf, volumes 1 to 17 complete. This is, I think this is like the first ever series that I read. I can't remember exactly, but this is like the first one I vividly remember reading. So, of course, I had to buy it, even though I can't read Korean. I just had to buy the series. This is like such, once again, I just keep saying it, but it's a nostalgic series for me. This is why I got it. Really great series, cross dressing, strong female lead. Yeah. What can I say? I adore the series. I have A Sign of Affection, Volumes 1 to 7, which is a really sweet college romance. Uh, Blue Flag, Volumes 1 to 4, which is a high school romance triangle thing. And then I have Gokusen, Volumes 1 to 15. 1 to 15. I was sure how many volumes are here. But this is kind of like the female version of GTO, is the best we can describe it. Instead of having a uh, male Yakuza teacher, we have a female gangster teacher so yeah love her as for merchandise i have a sign of affection clear card some tgcf hua chung stuff some chief chihaya furu some namiki sekari kodocha we have some naruto more kodocha uh in the clue moon at dusk and then we have this which is yumeko from kokosen next is another colorful spine shonen shelf this is the newest addition to my manga collection, like a big edition that is volumes 1 to 23 of One Piece. This is just a first box set. I don't know what it's called, okay? But I'm really excited that I have this because I've just been wanting to start the series for the longest time. I've been really enjoying the anime for a while, so I'm super excited that now I can finally start the manga. I also have like the little side book that comes with the first box set and Akanai Banashi volume 3. I have the other two volumes, they're just back at my dorm. I have the Summer Hikuru Dai volume 1, Play It Cool Guys volumes 1 to 4, and then I have Blue Lock, the special edition Barnes and Noble cover thing volume 1, and Blue Lock volume 10. I have volumes 1 to 9 back at my dorm. I'm just sensing a trend here because yes, there is a trend, I just have a lot of stuff back at my dorm. I have some of the Tokyo Adventures Japanese volumes and the fan books, TV guide books, and whatnot. I also have Detective Conan, Case Closed, whatever you want to call it, volume 1 in Japanese. And Blue Period, volumes 1 to 6, which is a really great series about art. As for merchandise, I have some Assigned Affection stuff. These really cute, these are like new, they're like a Blue Lock cake gacha pon. They're so cute. I have some Rayo Nagi stuff, some Ego stuff, and this like Kunigami minifigure. I have this, uh, what's his name? Jingle? Right? Jingle? Jingle? 
uh, acrylic keychain, uh, Isagi mini acrylic stands, and Tokyo Adventures acrylic stands, and then this like little Dean cake. He's so cute, bro. I can't even right now. He's adorable. The next shelf is not manga related, but it is my Bachira shrine. I guess it is half of my shrine. This is like half of my merchandise. The other half is back at my dorm because I have an entire shelf dedicated to him back in my dorm. I know, guys, I have a problem, but you know, I really love him. He's my favorite character. I'm going to get all of his stuff at one point, okay? Like, I just, I'm just, I have to because, yeah. But like, look how cute he is, bro. Are you kidding me? Like, <gasps> I love him, okay? There's a problem, but it's fine because he's so cute, okay? So yeah the next shelf is one that is jam-packed because i had to make room for this somehow so i crammed everything onto this one shelf moving these aside just scoot these out of the way we have some sublime stuff in the back like moon and sun jealousy given and his favorite and then also have catch these hands volume one on top as well behind that here i have imaginary volume one our dining table volume one which is a one shot and then i have my happy marriage only one as well for the manga in front of those series i have uh xbox Astray kitten volumes one and two my next life is in us all red suit to doom volumes one to seven and then i have volume one of the spin-off side story and then i have volumes one to four of classmates i also have a white rose and bloom volumes one and two go for it nakamura and go for it nakamura again go for it again nakamura yes i also have links i think i turned my childhood friend into a girl volume one seaside stranger volumes one to five the other world's being counter the other world's books depend on the bean counter what a tongue twister volume one read the series online really enjoying it hopefully i can get the other volumes soon i am also up to date with spy family so i have volumes one to ten which is all that is out as of the filming of this video i also have volumes one to 19 of banana fish which is complete super sad series like super sad series but a great series nonetheless and then i have firefly wedding volume one fantastic series so happy that i have this hopefully i can get the other volumes soon as for the merchandise on this shelf there is quite a lot namaki zekari acrylic stand reckon of the rose king acrylic stand uh spy family minifigures more spy family stuff back there then we have more spy family stuff some banana fish items some that time I got reincarnated as the slime items some jealousy acrylic stands quite a lot overall now for the final manga shelf in my room which is just romance i guess i have some random volumes of we were there mixed vegetables almost complete volumes one to eight i'm just missing four and then i have punch volumes one to three complete on top i have the villainous dance the heroes volumes one and two which is all that is out as of the filming of this video i think and then i have um a condition called love volume what is this five uh yeah i got this akino kuni the other day um i have the other four volumes back at my dorm so that just stays there for now until i can get it back there b pop volumes one to three wild ones volumes one to ten i'm just missing volume nine until it's complete this is really fun y'all because the series soma spider so what volumes one and two dekoboko sugar days and dekoboko bittersweet days puppy love and the god and the flightless messenger as well i have some chinese and japanese manga only the Flower Nose Volume 1, The Most Heretical Last Boss Queen Volumes 1 to 3 complete, and then I also have Kodocha Volumes 1 to 10 complete. After a long time, I have finally completed the series. Yay! And then I have some other series like I Want to Be a Wall, Is Love the Answer, Love is an Illusion, I've Become an Omega Today, and Until I Meet My Husband. Yes, I have done it. Hey everyone, here's a photo of the bookcase back in my dorm. Sadly, I can't do the video since I'm not there right now due to winter break, but here is what I have on my bookcase there. This is kind of cut off so you can't really see it, but that bookcase or that little tiny box over there that has Shutline, Love Jinx, On or Off, Payback, At the End of the Road, and some other series I'm forgetting the name of, just basically BL Korean manhwa series in that box. At the top of the bookcase here, I have volumes 1 through 9 of Blue Lock, so I am up to date with that because I showed you guys volumes 10 earlier. Love the series here with my like little Bachira shelf. Love all my Bachira merchandise. We love this. Oh my, I love him so much. Now moving on to one of the more manga heavy shelves. Starting off, I have Mob Psycho volumes 1 to 12 plus the Reagan spinoff thing. I think this is up to date. I also have Stray Cat and Wolf volume 1 and A Condition Called Love volumes 1 through 4, which is up to date. This villain stands to hear us. It's the same one you guys said earlier. I also have Namaki Zikari volumes 1 to 8, which I think is up to date. This is a really great sports romance, basketball. If that sounds interesting to anyone, I highly recommend it. It's really cute. Moving on from that, I have Akane Banashi Volumes 1 and 2. You guys saw three earlier storytelling game about Rakugo. I also have Tokyo Aliens Volumes 1 to 4, which is up to date. I, I have five. Okay, guys, I do have five. Same with Apothecary Diaries. I have 10. It's up to date. It's just not shown on here. I'm so happy it's getting more hype. And then I also have In the Clear Moon, the Dusk Volumes 1 to 5. 
Below that here is My Lip Makes Up Volumes 1 to 9 Complete. Really love this series. I also have Seventh Time Loops, whatever, Volume 1. Megami and Sigami Volumes 1 to 3. I'm just missing the fourth and final volume. I need to get that. Aside that though, I have a whole bunch of Japanese manga, specifically The Crown Jewel being Gals and the spin-off series or the sequel series. Love this series. Great early 2000s Gyaru J Fashion. If that sounds interesting to anyone, go check it out. I also have Kotaro Lives Alone Volumes 1 and 2. I hope it gets adapted into English soon. I adore the series. And then I also have uh, Love Otaku X, Crossplay Love Otaku X Punk. Great series as well. Below that, on this next shelf here, I have Moriarty Volumes 1 to 7. I read Volume 14 because I got when I was getting it from my grandfather. And let me tell you guys, I am so excited for the next volume. You guys don't know. I also have Kaiji Number 8 Volumes 1 to 8. I have 9 here, as you guys saw, so I'm up to date on that series as well. There's also Ajin Demi Human Volumes 1. I really want to get the rest, it's just a little bit expensive, but hopefully I can get a bulk sale of them soon. Some extra volumes of Food Wars you guys already saw earlier. Windbreaker Volumes 1 and 2, Delinquent Series, we already covered that. Now moving on to kind of the more mono section on the shelf, I have A Business Proposal Volumes 1 and 2, a great office workplace romance for those that like that. There's also Villains Are Destined to Die, Villains Are Destined to Die which is an isekai ultimate game. So good, art is stunning, male lead is amazing, okay. Uh, yeah, highly recommend. Love the female lead too. Penelope is chef's kiss. Amazing. Then we have some fairy tale series, or not fairy tale, but like fantasy romance series, which are My Gently Raised Beast and Who Made Princess. Really love both of them. They're both like such classic manhwa series, in my opinion, like such staples. Yakuza Fiance, Arise with Tanaki, Dichotomy Between the Two. This is a dark romance series, okay? Love. Yakuza, sign me up. Last game, which is a Rivals series, Rivals to Lovers, Cute 1 and 2, Yakuza Bias, Volumes 1 and 2, which is about a Yakuza member becoming a K-pop stand, which is really funny, and then I have Chuckle. So yeah, that is my manga collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!